Hey everyone! I've acquired a little bit of a reputation for promoting the wonders of Make Playing Cards uh, custom tins. And I do occasionally get a lot of um, questions on how to do that and if it's feasible and all that other stuff. So I thought I'd just do a quick screen recording to show you just how easy it is. Um, in order to start this process, you do have to have art that you've already, you know, set up and saved. Um, so that's a whole different thing altogether. But once you have the art, all you do is you go to makeplaincards.com and you click this little link here that says boxes. All right, so I'm clicking boxes and then it shows up all the different options that Make Playing Cards has for your card packaging. We're interested here in tin boxes. So you click on tin boxes and all the different tins come up. They have quite a lot. Um, this is actually one that I've not really ever um, done before, um, having two tarot decks in one box. That sounds like an awful lot of fun. I might do that someday. Um, what I'm primarily interested in though are these two options, the custom tarot tin box and the custom sticker tarot tin box. My preference is for the custom tarot tin box. This, um, this option has NPC print your image directly onto the tin itself. It usually prints out very nice and matte. Um, and it's super, super durable. Um, a downside is that it does print, I think, slightly a little darker than your actual image. And sometimes you can't see printer lines. Um, just depends on the exact type of image, the ink, the balance, etc. Um, it's not that obvious in my opinion, but that could potentially irritate someone. So it'll be like 95% perfect in my opinion. Um, they get better print quality of the image with a sticker, but it is a sticker. Um, it is going to be a little shinier. It's going to be a lot shinier and you can peel it off the tin if you want. Um, with this custom sticker tin option, you do have the option of doing two stickers, one for the front of the box and one for the back. So if you wanted to add notes on your deck or anything like that, this could be a cool option, the custom sticker tin option. They're both the same price. But my preference is for the one where you're printing it actually onto the tin itself. I think it looks really nice, really super professional. Um, and I can't get over how nice and durable the effect actually is. So we're going to click on custom Terra tin. Boop. And once it fully loads, you can see different pricing options. Um, if you're just buying one tin, it'll cost you $14.30 plus shipping. Shipping is nine dollars um in america um if you're having one tin shipped to you it's way more cost effective if you're doing more than one um oh and if you're doing more than one you're not going to get the bulk pricing unless you're doing more than one of this exact tin so if you're buying five different tins with five different images each tin will be fourteen dollars and thirty cents does that make sense you're not going to get like a price break when you do six tins of different images so once we've got this, it's all loaded. You just simply click start your design and you are brought into their little doohickey. Um, from there, you simply click upload images and you pick your image. Let's do, let's do the blue box. Everyone wants to do the blue box. All right. So I load up my image. When it loads, you see the little thumbnail here. You grab your thumbnail, you drop it in. Bob's your uncle, you're done. Um, I've set my images to, uh, to just import in, completely centered, and looking fine as is. It's a drop and go situation. But if you do want to edit things, you can go here to edit. And in their little editor, you can rotate the image. Like, oops, I don't like that. Let's you know, and you can rotate it like various degrees, as you can see, it's not a complete like 90 degree thing. So if, if something is a little bit crooked, this is, this can be a way to correct that a little bit. I don't think it's that amazing. It's probably better to do that in other things. Um, if you want to do a complete 90 degree flip, you do the 90 degree flip things. Um, if you want to do top to bottom reversals, you can mirror image things, you can. That looks super trippy, not gonna lie. Um, and then if you want to like change a basic color effect, like I actually think the pinks usually end up looking quite nice. Um, got a red, I got green, All right? It just basically does a straight up color wash of whatever you're doing, black and white, sepia, All right? 
Um, typically, you want to do no effect. MPC also has a habit of printing things off a little bit darker than the image you're importing. Um, if that's something that you're very conscientious of, like if, if the image itself is already quite dark, you might want to actually like throw in a couple, you know, clicks of brightness in there to help offset that effect. Um, I've only wished that I'd done that on a couple of the tins that I've printed. I was like, oh, that is way too dark for what I wanted. Um, but it works out in the end just fine. Um, once you've got your image the way you like it, you apply all your changes, or cancel in this case because I like it just the way it is, and then you go to your next step, which is to actually um, go ahead and order, add this to your cart. Um, you do have to click this, yes, I confirm that all the images, names, and other content added onto my design are correct and that I own all copyrights for them or have full authorization to use them. If you're printing off a tin for yourself and you're, you have no intention of ever putting this for sale anywhere, you don't have to own the copyright. NBC will print it out regardless. Um, but what this does is if you go ahead and click this and then print out like a hundred and start selling them willy nilly, what this means is that um, when you and NPC get sued, NPC can shift all that liability off to you because you said, no, I own the copyright. It's okay. Right? So that, this is just a CYA for MPC. Uh, once you click that, you can go ahead and add that to the cart. And as you can see, $14.30 is right here. If I go ahead and say I want 100 of these, you will see the price kind of drops down to $6.50 per tin, $650 total, right? So it just automatically does it for whatever particular thing you want. Um, if you are done shopping and you go to your checkout, we're going to do here a checkout as guest. Uh, I think I might actually need to put in an address. Um, Let's see if that works. Oh, that's a city. Beverly Hills 90210. Now nah, that didn't pop it up. Um, what I wanted to do is see if I could um, see you show you what the shipping was. Um, here it's just not, not going to show it. I know from having done this before that if you're buying a tin, the shipping will be $9.99. Um, if you buy six tins, it'll be like $14 or something like that. So my opinion is if this is something you're gonna to wanna to do more than once, go ahead and get all or most of the tins you want printed up, print it up at one time to save yourself on some shipping. Because $14.30, totally reasonable. Like $25 for a tin, it's a little bit silly at that point, if that makes sense. Um, let's go back here to MPC and show you what happens if you are looking at a um, at art that isn't already like perfectly formatted for your tin. Start your design. <clears throat> Come on. My computer is a little slow. All right, so let's come back here. Let's grab this bone fire because the bone fire it's a little bit wide. Um, it's not a perfect rectangle. So you bring that in, drop it in. See, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and do an auto format to what it thinks is best for the tin. And um, if it's not in the decent like rectangle ratio, you're going to be limited in what you can do. You can, you know, crop things in and make them smaller, but you can't necessarily like make this any bigger so that the image centers on the tin, right? Um, so if you did want to do something like with the bone fire, for instance, which I wouldn't recommend because that deck is not going to fit in this box, um, you would need to um, edit this image on some other program in order to get it to fit in the tin. All right, that's all I've got for you. I hope that this looked 
kind of fun and informative and have fun making yourself a whole bunch of tins. Bye.